to Sarah and we are about to get started. We are going to kick things off with a full body workout. We are going to be raising the heart rate, getting a really good cardiovascular workout and getting nice and sweaty. For this video you do not need any equipment. All you need is yourself and some space. I'll be doing the workout along with you. I'll be explaining it all for you. Every single move, the right technique, I got you. If you haven't already, make sure that you join us over on Instagram to get involved in the community. Give this video a big thumbs up, click to subscribe and send it to a friend to challenge them. All right, without further ado, let's get into the workout. You ready? All right, let's begin. We are going to start off with a nice little warm up. So we're going to jog on the spot. Ready and go keeping it nice and light on the feet. We're just easing ourselves into the workout, getting the limbs moving, waking the body up before we push it a little bit further. Keep going. A few more seconds. and relax. Holding on to a wall or chair for support, we're going to do some leg swings, 15 on each leg. Swinging the leg in front of you and behind you and making sure that you keep your core nice and tight so that your lower back is not arching. Um, you don't want your lower back to be moving in this movement, just isolate the movement in that leg, feeling the stretch in the hamstrings and the quads and then do the same on the other leg. So 15 on each leg. Just getting nice and loose, some dynamic leg swings. Keep the core nice and tight. Well done. And back to jogging for another 20 or so seconds. Should be getting a little bit breathless now. Respiratory rate increasing. <laughs> and then we're going to do some arm swings. So standing still, I want you to make some big circles with your arms back and over the head, taking some deep breaths, opening up the chest, feeling that range of movement as tall as you can. We're gonna do 10 each way. And back the other way, bringing the arms overhead, feel that stretch in the shoulders, opening up the chest, deep breath. as tall as possible. And we're gonna go into some leg openers. So bringing the knee up, you're gonna bring the knee up in front of you and then push it out to the side, opening up the hips, alternating legs as you go. So knee up and out to the side, up and out to the side, keeping the core nice and tight, again isolating the leg with that movement, shoulders facing forward, hips facing forward, we're really feeling that stretch in the inner thighs. And back to jogging, but this time we are going to kick our bums, so heel kicks on the spot. Nice and light. Breathing as we go. A little bit breathless, getting that blood flowing. Awesome, so that completes our warm up and we are going to start the workout with some ski jumps. So we'll be jumping from side to side in a curtsy lunge position. And as you can see, the beginner's variation on the right, just walking through the same movement without the jump. Ready and go. So I want you to jump from side to side touching the ground in front of you with the opposite arm, 
and you want your weight to be going through your heels. So you're kind of doing a jumping curtsy lunge position, weight through the heels. Beginners just walk through the same movement, so leaving out the jump. Breathing through, keeping the balance, making sure that you can wiggle your toes of that front leg and relax. Well done, 30 seconds rest. And the next exercise that we're going to do are some burpees, good old favorite. So for the beginner's variation, just walking through the movement, so into a plank position, then coming up for a nice stretch at the top. For intermediate and advanced, we are going for the full on burpees, explosive and powerful. Ready and go. Down to plank position, jumping up nice and explosive. Burpees are tough, but they are excellent. They are really good. So just push through, keeping good form, taking the weight of the body and the arms as you come down to the plank position and jumping up nice and explosive. Beginners just stepping up, reaching the arms out, still getting a great workout in. A few more. and relax, rest for 30 seconds, catch your breath. The next move that we're gonna do is the elbow to knee skip. So um, hands behind your head, we are twisting through the waist to bring the knee up to the elbow and the elbow to the knee, a beginner's variation, doing the same movement but without the skip in between. So intermediate and advanced, you wanna be hopping from leg to leg, beginners just walking through the motion, still getting that great twist and still getting a great workout ready and go. Try and keep the chest nice and high. So I want you to really have to bring that knee up and twist through the waist, activating the core. You're not bringing your elbow down. You are simply twisting and bringing that knee nice and high. Keeping a nice bounce in the movement. Keep going. You're doing really well. And relax, well done. Moving on to the next move, we'll be doing some lunge kicks. So stepping back into a lunge and kicking forward. For this move, we have two variations. So for the advance, we'll be doing lunge jumps. So stepping back and jumping up in a nice explosive movement. For the beginner's variation, we'll simply be stepping back into a lunge, alternating legs. Doing really well, ready and go. So stepping back into the lunge position and kicking out in front of you. You want your weight through your heels, chest nice and high, core tight. If you're feeling like you wanna push it a little bit further, then do the lunge jump. So again, weight through the heels, explosive movement as you drive the opposite knee through. For beginners, just keep lunging back, alternating legs as you go. Doing really well, guys. Kick out in front of you. and relax well done and for the next move we're actually just going to repeat that same one but on the opposite leg catch your breath shake it off if you need to again here are the variations all still getting in a really good burn Ready and go, lunging back, kicking through, weight through the heels, you should be able to wiggle your toes, core nice and tight, driving the opposite arm through as well. Using your arms in the movement will really help you to stay balanced. Kicking through nice and high, getting that kind of single leg squat action in the leg in front. You're doing really well, guys. Keep going. I know it burns, but it's good for you. <laughs> and relax. Well done. Awesome. So the next move that we're going to do 
will be high knees so running high knees on the spot for intermediate and advanced if you're a beginner just walking through that motion getting a nice high knee keeping the core tight driving the arms as you do all right you ready and go so high knees driving the knees nice and high opposite arm to opposite knee i like to think of these as being in rectangles so my elbow um, is at a 90 degree angle my knees are coming high up to a 90 degree angle as well i know as you fatigue you'll want to like drop that knee but don't <laughs> keep the knees nice and high i know you're breathless just a few more seconds you're doing really well keep going and relax awesome doing so well guys absolutely smashing it the next movement we're doing side to side lunges so whether you are a beginner whether you're intermediate or advanced we're doing the same move some nice side to side lunges making circles with the arms as we go ready and go legs in a side lunge position we are alternating side to side and i want you to imagine that you've got like dish cloths on the end of each hand and you're just like cleaning a window on either side of you in a very inefficient but elegant manner so just making those tiny little circles as you clean those windows side to side keeping the arms up do not let them drop you'll feel this in your shoulders keep going side to side sitting back weight through the heels i do not want your knees to come in front of your toes weight through the heels and rest well done Awesome, so the next move we're gonna do will be some pulsed squat jumps. So um, you want to pulse, one, two, three, and jump. For the advanced, we are doing squat jumps, just continuous, explosive squat jumps, really gonna get nice and breathless. Beginner's variation, normal squats. So sitting back, pushing up, using the glutes and the hamstrings. Ready and go. So pulse, one, two, three, and jump. One, two, three, and jump. So really sitting back, keeping good squat form. Um, so heels, uh, weight through your heels, sitting the hips back, and then coming out with that explosive jump as you do. For the advanced, we're skipping the pulse and we're just doing continuous squat jumps. If you're a beginner, just keep those squats, keep that good form, chest up, Feet pointing slightly outwards as you sit back and come up and relax. Awesome, you guys. That completes the first set of the workout. So we're going to have two minutes rest here. So feel free to grab yourself a drink um, and, you know, reflect on what you've signed up for here. <laughs> but don't panic because I believe in you. You can do this. And I'm so proud of you for committing to do this challenge. It is that's a big step and I'm going to be here with you throughout the whole thing. We can do this. So grab a drink, stay hydrated, but don't drink too much because you don't want to like feel the water moving in your belly. That is not a pleasant feeling. I can assure you of that. Um, feel free to stretch it out as well. That's what I love to do during my recovery. So just anywhere that's feeling a bit tight, I will just stretch. I'll keep it moving. What I don't like to do during recovery is collapse on the floor. So I do like to keep it moving. So just like a gentle walk around, you know, take a tour of your living room, click like on this video, <laughs> subscribe if you haven't already. Um, how are you feeling? How are you finding it? Let me know in the comments. You have time to leave me a comment telling me how you feel during this rest. And what, um, what are you doing? Are you doing the intermediate with me or are you doing the advanced, still the beginners? Let me know. <laughs> so I'm just doing some stretches here, my triceps feeling a little bit tight, so just stretching those. Feeling good, feeling active and strong and determined.
Awesome. So as our rest comes to an end, we're going to move on to the ski jumps. So we're repeating the set of exercises that we just did. So ski jumps, side to side, beginner's variation, walking through the motion. Ready and go. So the back leg crossing over behind the front leg as you hop from one to the other, making sure you're landing on the heel, weight through the heel, squeezing through the glutes and the hamstrings and the quads as you pop up and alternate side to side. That back leg is just crossing over, but keeping the shoulders facing forward, controlling the movement. You're doing really well. And rest. 30 seconds rest. And we're gonna come back in with the burpees, everyone's absolute favorite. So um, beginners, we're just walking it through. So walking the legs back to a plank position, standing up, reaching up nice and tall, intermediate and advanced. We're going, we're going all out with these bad boys. <laughs> Ready and go in a plank, legs back, explosive jump up. Keep it moving. I know you're feeling it. I know you might be feeling tired, but we keep it moving. You might slow down, but don't stop. I believe in you. You can do this and the benefits are going to be amazing. Keep going. Breathing through the movement, but keeping it nice and controlled. Try and be explosive as you jump up, tall as you can doing really well and rest catch your breath and we're coming back to the elbow to knee skip so hands behind the head twisting through the waist beginners we're walking through the movement still getting that nice high knee lift as we twist and bring the knee up to the elbow you okay? You good? You got this? You still with me? Awesome. I'm so glad. And go. Elbow to knee. Skip. Chest nice and high. Elbows nice and wide. We're not crunching down. We're twisting through the waist. The knee comes nice and high. Try and bring that knee up to the elbow as much as you can. Breathing through the movement. Doing really well. Keep going. You've got this. You can do whatever you put your mind to. You really can. And relax. Well done. So then we're coming back to the lunge and kick, showing you all three variations. So for the advanced, we are popping up and really feeling that burn with the uh, plyometric lunges. For the beginners, we are simply stepping back into a lunge and coming back to standing. Ready, you got it? Good. Ready and go. Step back to a lunge, kick out in front. Weight through the heels, sitting the hips back into the lunge position, keeping that core nice and tight, pelvic tilt, kicking out in front of you doing really well focusing on the one leg okay we're doing one leg at a time if you're doing the beginner's move then you are alternating legs but for intermediate and advanced we are doing one leg at a time and relax well done shake it off and we're going to come back onto the other leg beginners you're going to repeat those lunges You're doing so well, guys. Stay with me. Ready? And go. Stepping back into the lunge, kicking forward. Really squeezing the glutes and hamstrings of the leg in front. Weight through the heels, chest nice and high. Driving the arms. If you feel the challenge, then you're just popping up explosively on that leg, almost like a single leg squat jump with the leg behind you just to balance you. 
doing really well, keep lunging. Whatever modification you're doing, keep lunging. <laughs> and relax, well done. Nearly there guys, nearly there. And the next exercise we're gonna do are the side to side lunges. So still getting a nice little burn in the arms and legs, but a moment to pause, <laughs> um, a little bit less breathy than the other exercises. So you're welcome. Again, we're all doing the same version of this movement. Ready and go in a side lunge position, cleaning those windows either side of you with a nice high up straight arms doing tiny little circles with the dishcloths. <laughs> keep going, keep it moving side to side. Your hips are sitting back, so I don't want your knees coming in front of your toes. You should be able to wiggle your toes because all the way to that body is going through the heels, activating the glutes and the quads and the hammies. Doing really well. And relax, well done. Then we're going to do some high knees. So running on the spot, knees nice and high, chest up. Beginners walking through that movement. Catch your breath, you've got 14 seconds. And then we're going in with the high knees. Fourteen seconds goes pretty fast because we are ready to go and go. Running on the spot, keeping the arms at a 90 degree angle at that, uh, that elbow joint, driving them back and forth, knees coming high. I know you're fatigued, I know you're feeling tired, but really bring those knees up so that your knees are straight up with your hips. Keep going, you're doing really well. Just a few more seconds. And relax. Awesome. And we're coming into the last move, you guys. Absolutely smashing it out of the park. Some pulsed squat jumps. If you're feeling like a challenge, some continuous squat jumps. If you're just starting out, some good old squats still getting a great workout in by the way guys don't don't doubt and don't think that the beginners moves are easy no you're still getting a great workout ready and go squatting back jumping up pulse one two three and jump weight through the heels chest up being really explosive with that jump as you squeeze the glutes squeeze the hamstrings and push the hips through, jumping up as high as you can, cushioning the fall, landing with a bended knee, weight through the heels. You're doing really well, keep going. Last one, give it your everything. Last move that is. And relax, well done. You've done so well, you guys, I'm so proud of you. Smashed it, easy. All right, we're gonna do a quick little cool down. Um, just to end, so I want you to bring one arm over the head, feel the stretch through the side, and bring it down and around in front of you, walking over to the middle, just allowing the weight of the head to carry you over. And over the other side, feeling that stretch again on the other side, and back up to center, well done. And we're going to stretch the quads, so coming down into a lunge position, don't worry, we're not doing any more lunges. Um, just push that leg back, squeeze the core and push the hips forward and we're going to alternate that with a hamstring stretch, so then pushing the hips back, pointing and flexing the toe. So just keep alternating through a quad stretch to the hamstring stretch, listening to your body, doing what you feel. Well done, feeling that stretch in the hamstrings and the calves. Awesome. Now same on the other side. So keeping the core nice and tight, push the hips forward, chest up, getting a good stretch in that quad and then pushing the hips back as we stretch out the hamstrings. 
You can pull the toes towards you for an intensified stretch, particularly in the calves. And just listen to your body, move around as, as you feel, you guys. You don't have to do exactly what I'm doing here. This is the cool down, it's up to you. Whatever's feeling tight, wherever's feeling like it just needs a moment, give it that moment. <laughs> this plan is all about looking after our bodies. All right, now we're gonna bring one leg crossed over the other side to get a nice stretch in the glutes, the outer thigh twisting back to get a stretch through the waist as well through the lower back chest up and same on the other side hugging the leg into the chest feeling that stretch in the glutes and then opening out the chest to get that lower back stretch Well done. Then we're going to reach for our toes. Doesn't matter if you can't reach them, that's okay. Just reach as far as you can. And again, just let the weight of your head carry over to wherever is comfortable. You don't have to press your head to your knees. Um, you can move around with it. Just feeling that stretch through the back of the legs, through the spine, and through the shoulders as you reach your arms towards your lower legs. Then we're going to pull the feet in towards the bottom sitting up nice and tall use your elbows to push your knees out as you stretch the inner thighs deep breaths i hope you know i know this probably still feels like exercise but it's a cool down and you're all done you've done really well you guys thank you so much for joining me well done